Hey everybody, it's Sarah, and I just wanted to film a really quick live video. I've had a few questions about my December daily. This is an 8x8 bubblegum pink doodlebug album. This is what I have done just for the cover. This is, I'm sure you guys know how these work. That's just the front thing that there's a piece of paper in there. I flipped it around and used the other side. This is an acetate piece from Snow and Coco with a couple of the tiny word stickers from Snow and Coco. This is an old, well not old, but a few months old We Are Memory Keepers typecast, typecast, typeset from Michaels. They went on clearance for like, I don't know, 80 or 90% off, so I bought a bunch of them. And then a sticker, an enamel heart from Amy Tan, and a Kaisercraft gem. And then the side, the spine, is just a little Christmas tree sticker from the Snow and Cocoa sticker sheet with 16 that is, oh gosh, little alpha stickers from Pretty Little Studio. I'll find those. Can you see that good? Yep, there you go. And then I will just show you the inside really quick and then I'll show you some of my supplies. So I haven't printed out any pictures obviously because December has not even started. And the plan is to hopefully only do one, maybe two pictures a day. This does have a two or a two and a half inch spine. So I think I'll be able to get a lot of stuff in here. This is one of the acetate sheets that I bought. Uh, we went to Crafts Direct, a real scrapbook store up in St. Cloud for my birthday. It was like maybe October, it was a, like a couple days before my birthday, like maybe October 18th. And I bought a few acetate sheets from there. And I also went to Michael's and bought a few. They have a lot of their acetate and vellum on clearance right now. So this is just a star acetate sheet. And I put... Hello from Color Cast Designs. I'm waiting for that to maybe focus. There we go. And then I just did glossy accents to keep that hello on. And then this is a little L Studio piece that says Magical Moments. And I used um, red tape for that guy. And all I did was cut these down to the exact size of the page protectors. And then I used one of my page protectors and seriously the cheapest hole punch in existence to punch holes in the acetate. And I don't have these in any specific order. I did print out my reason why on vellum on my computer today. And I'm going to put either intentions or reason why or something up here. I just haven't decided yet. And then I just have a ton of acetate. This is from Michael's. It's just some script that says the little things, adventure, grow, love. Here are some numbers also from Michael's. Stars. I think that was Bella Boulevard from a scrapbook store. And then the offcuts. If they were going the right direction, I made like I just used the offcuts and I will put these in randomly as I don't know something. And this is just a polka dot one from Michaels. Same script as the other except in white also from Michaels. Most of these are American Crafts or Studio Calico. What I want to say knockoffs. They're like Studio Calico or American Crafts must have sold the rights to a lot of papers. Uh, then, then they rebranded them as Recollections with Michaels. More of that same star pattern. That was from DIY. Polka dot from Michaels, polka dot from Michaels, and then I just have all of my Doodlebug page protectors in here. It came with a few weird ones, like two four by six going this way, and then a long two by eight there. And then I have a lot like this, which are two four by six horizontal, and then a two by eight strip that I think. I will do a lot of sewing this guy shut um, and filling with glitter or maybe like resin pieces. And then I've got a fuse, so I'm going to fuse these guys to be two 3x4s because I have a ton of 3x4 cards from my hip kit. And then I also have a bunch of 4x4s, which I love because I love printing out 4x4 pictures. It just gives you a little more real estate and not quite as big as a 4x6. 
I print all of my pictures with persnickety prints. Um, I process them in Lightroom to add white borders, and then I print every other week with persnickety prints out of Orem, Utah. Once again, there's my spine. Uh, I'm going to go through my supplies really super quick, too, because I've had a lot of questions about them. I use the Alex short wide drawers to keep everything and all of the stuff that I'm going to show you fits in one drawer. So here we have some hip kit alphas. These are the exclusives by Pink Fresh Studio and then these are the Oh Joy by Pink Fresh Studio green. These are bright thickers that came with the Snow and Coco line. These I grabbed when they were 40% off at Hobby Lobby. They're the maple thickers. These were also 40% off at Hobby Lobby. So seriously, they're, they're like two something dollars. If I, and I've already used a pack of them last fall when this first came out. So I might use them, I might not. I also got like four packs of these, which I will not anywhere go near using all of them. But these are these gorgeous moonlight thickers that came out with After Dark, not this Halloween, but last Halloween. These, oh, I got it at Crafts Direct. There's this tag right there. These, oh gosh, I think were like two years ago from Dear Lizzie, from whatever that, what do they say? Yeah, 2014, whatever her 2014 Valentine's line was. I just liked that they were kind of shorter because you always find these huge thickers that take up so much of the page. Once again, also 40% off at Crafts Direct. I thought, oh, maybe I can use some there. 40% off. These are the Dear Lizzie snapshots. These are the Amy Tan, You and Me. And I used up a pack of these just on my normal project life and I loved these so much. Look at all those E's and A's you get. And I's, I feel like I always run out of E's and A's and I's ton of numbers and they're like once again they're like less than an inch they're really great for project life and december daily these oh these were also at tuesday morning a dollar 99 and then i've got a couple of little pads of paper snow and cocoa which is going to be the basis of my december daily I will also make a bunch of happy mails out of this. I know it kind of seems like a lot of supplies, but I feel like I had just as many supplies last year and I ran through all of them. I was only able to make like four happy mails this year with kind of my leftovers uh, from last year. And then this is my Mind's Eye Sugar Plum. This is more of a platinum than a gold, the sparkly. And then there were two cut apart sheets that came with the document December kit from Hip Kit. Here are some off cuts from some other papers that I thought, oh, I gotta use. I think these are like Jen Hadfield pebbles, and this is probably that We Are Memory Keepers type set again. These came with my Hip Kit December, uh, document December kit. They are Oh Joy washi strips. These are from actually 2014. They're authentic tiny word stickers that say like sliding or sledding and glistening snowball bundled up icicles freeze walk stuff like that. These are the tiny word stickers. This is the Sticker sheet for Snow and Coco. I'm gonna make sure everybody sees all that. I'm sure there's a ton of YouTube videos that show lots of labels. Here are the rest of my off cuts that weren't really going the right direction or were a little too skinny, but I might use in a pocket somewhere. Maybe like cut out a three by four section of that guy and throw it in a pocket. Here's some off cuts from last year. Like seriously, this is all I have left from last year right here. Some music paper because we go to church and sing. So, And my girls perform in church at least once. So it's nice to have a little bit of music paper. I think this was maybe Maggie Holmes, oh, whatever her last collection was from last fall. Not Gather, but the other one. Shine? Yeah, Shine. This is some um, seven paper Felix, maybe. 
That's Felix or L Studio, probably L Studio, seven paper Felix, Felix? Something like that, whatever the seven paper collection was last year. That's like all I have left. And then here's the last few bits of my typeset labels. I'm going to try to use those guys up. Here are the Pretty Little Studio labels that I bought. If you guys haven't checked out Pretty Little Studio, you should. They have a lot of really fun made in the USA exclusive everything that they make they make themselves and design themselves they have a lot of fun designers working um, with them and making collections now like Ashley Horton and um, Marianne Capistrand she did a really really fun like probably two different collections for them lately and all their stuff is really cheap like these are only a couple of bucks they produce everything in the united states and their shipping is super cheap and like some of their cut apart labels are like a dollar like really oh and then here's some acetate sheets from them these were like two dollars these are eight by eight so i haven't cut them apart because my page protectors are like i don't know nine by nine and a half even though they're eight by eight um or maybe they're eight and a half by nine and a half, something like that. So I'm going to cut these apart with, let me show you. I have a purple cow, but I, and it's a guillotine and I don't dare use a guillotine for acetate. This is just a relatively cheap Westcott titanium that cuts paper horribly. It just chews up paper, but for some reason it goes so smoothly and so nicely through all acetate. I got that at Target. So if you guys are looking for something that cuts acetate really nice, I would highly recommend those um, titanium, what is it called? Westcott Titanium from Target. They were really nice. I don't think they come in pink anymore, but I think they've got them in teal now. So anyhow, this is from Marion Bright collection from Pretty Little Studio. Also Marion Bright. That's a big teal snowflake. Here's a small hot pink snowflake, also from Mary and Bright. And this one's also from Mary and Bright. So you can tell that those colors definitely match So Coco. Here's a few more off cuts. And then I've got some specialty vellum. This is the specialty vellum from Snow and Coco. Specialty vellum from Chamel's collection last year. Also Chamel's collection from last Christmas. This is one of those from. Recollections brand, so Michael's brand, but it is the exact same as the one that was in open book from Maggie Holmes. And those, these are on clearance right now for 99 cents, so you should pick some of those up. And then this is also from Recollections. I don't know if it's an American Crafts knockoff or not, but it's a dictionary page and it's in black and white. And then I have just a ton of papers because I am going to, wow, I do have a lot of paper. I'm going to make, I'm going to cut sheets that are the same size as the page protectors and have things like paper clipped and stapled to the paper without being in a page protector. Here is Snow and Coco Joy. Snow and Coco Cozy. And I do have multiples of these, of some of them. This is a hip kit exclusive called Let It Snow. This is the cut apart sheet from Snow and Coco. This is Burr Snow and Coco. At Home Snow and Coco. I love that like plaid sweater pattern. Rosy Cheeks from Snow and Coco. Here is a hip kit exclusive city sidewalks and missy widden did the most amazing layout on this paper oh it was gorgeous i would never think in a million years to put gesso and a bunch of ink on it like ink splatters but it was just amazing here is mary and bright this is a hip kit exclusive with a beautiful wood grain on the back this looks like another yep this is another hip kit exclusive called sparkle Hip Kit, oh no, this is Snow and Coco Fallen Snow. This is a Hip Kit exclusive Jingle All the Way. Hip Kit exclusive Fa La La. And I love this one. This is like a bokeh on wood. This is called Let It Snow. 
Another bokeh on the back. Another hip kit exclusive. Winter Wonderland, and that's both sides of that. And I do want to tell you that I didn't, um, or that I'd got two different kits from HipKit. I got their November Maine scrapbooking kit, and I also got their Document December. The main November kit was like $30, and the Document December was like $55. And it came with a lot of stuff. Here is, this is from Recollections, but once again, it is a crate paper specialty paper knockoff. Oops, I guess I got another one of those guys. This is a Pebbles knockoff recollections brand you see this was in this was like a Jen Hadfield Pebbles collection from maybe like two years ago okay another one of the cut apart sheets and I think this is going to be almost all duplicates oh no not this one you guys didn't see this one yet this is blizzard so it's got all the months well not all the months but December January and February three different ways and then you could cut these apart to use as tiny word stickers or you could just use it as a three by four something fun like that here's another cut apart with a bunch of snowmen wood grain this one is called sweater that one's gorgeous these look like duplicates yep you've seen these already and that one and that one And then there is the beautiful chipboard. Okay, I'm just gonna move this stuff really quick and then show you my couple little containers of embellishments. Oh yeah, and what I got at Target tonight. Target is killing me with all the fun stuff they have coming out right now. This was a little pack of paper clips that are kind of matching those colors. Cause I'm gonna do a lot of stuff with paper clips to paper clip ephemera, paper clip pictures and stuff like that in there. Look at these little guys, these were a dollar. Aren't they cute? And then this bag, the blue does not really match. I was thinking I would cover it up you know, with some big ephemera and maybe string a different color cord through it. I don't know, but for a dollar, I'll figure some way to stick that into my December daily. Okay, and then I'll go through these as quickly as I can. These are 12 by 12 Iris brand inserts. Let me back you up a little bit so you can get the whole view. Okay. Here is, oh, and they, I don't think they sell these anymore. I've heard that they maybe come in blue, like on joannes.com or something like that. And maybe you can find them on, oh, I don't know, maybe Amazon or something. They sold these for years and years and years and people were wild about them. And I don't know why they just stopped making them. It's crazy because they fit so nicely, especially in Alex drawers. But if you shop around, you can find like pre-divided inserts that work just as well. So these are just... I don't know if it's going to focus. That's as good as we're going to get. Just some little ribbon from Michaels. And these are Pink Fresh Studio numbers and some little emblems or designs too for. And I've got two packs of these guys. The paper clips from Snow and Coco. These are sequins from Lucy's Cards. You can find her at www.lucysshop.com. I've got Hey Beautiful, Gold Dust, Cool Breeze. I bought these with my birthday money. They're only about, oh, I think they're like two pound 75 and the pound is really low right now because of oh what was it called Brit X or whatever or Brexit yeah so the pound is really low compared to the dollar right now so I got 18 packs of sequins for $50 shipped and they were about two pound 75 each and she only charges like three pound 75 for shipping so oh that one is pretty pink Christmas so it's actually a pretty good deal considering look at all these pretties coconut ice Pastel Paradise, Magic Wand, just matches all these colors I got going. 
These are a bunch of tags that I got for 99 cents. They are DIY Shop by American Crafts. I got those at Tuesday morning. Here I've got all of my miscellaneous acrylic pieces. Most of them are either from Colorcast Designs, L Studio, or I got a bunch of them that have a bunch of different Christmas words and some stars from Pretty Little Studio also. They're really inexpensive. Whole bunch of little acrylic stars in there too. More tags from Tuesday morning. Miscellaneous gold colored stickers. I've got some numbers down there from DIY Shop. I've got some Heidi Swap pink glitter letters. I've got the My Mind's Eye platinum stickers. I've got the Oh Joy kind of like acrylic mirrored pieces. And then here are some more of the L Studio. Very, very thin, like be careful, breakable wood veneer. Then I've got a bunch of enamel dots from my stash and some Kaiser Craft gems. There's the um, My Mind's Eye enamel shapes. I've got two packs of those guys down there. The yellow obviously won't match, but I'll use those on another project. And I was really excited about those. Those are matte enamel dots from Doodlebug. And then here I've got a few pieces of L Studio mixed in with an absolute ton of the exclusive ephemera from Hip Kit. So there's two packs in here. There's one pack of the numbers, 1 through 25, and then there's another pack of the exclusive die cuts that have like animals and all kinds of fun stuff. Here are some of the labels I was talking about from Pretty Little Studio. They match perfectly and they were like a dollar. You have to cut them out yourself and you have to like, you know, use this little guy to get in those corners. You know what I mean? But, you know, you can do that while you're watching a Christmas movie run one night, right? I've got two packs of these guys. These are the wood and glitter chipboard pieces from Stone Coco. This is a big roll of Baker's Twine from Lawn Fun. I've got another one around here. Oh, this one. This is a really big one from American Crafts. It's a very light pink. Okay, guys, I'm almost done. Do you think I have enough to make one December daily? Hopefully. Okay, so here, this is these came in the hip kit. And then these are the My Mind's Eye ephemera. A lot of ephemera. A ton. And then I do have a few of these at the bottom. These are the... These came from... They're 4x4 four four journaling cards from... Oh, Seven Paper Felix or whatever that Christmas line was last year. I did a, made a bunch of those. And these are leftover from last year, too. They're just from Pebbles. They're big snowflakes. These are the My Mind's Eye chipboard. I took them up. They, they come cleanly out with the sticker on the back from the 12 by 12 chipboard sheet, so I like to remove those. Here are the, what I call the innards. A lot of these are the innards for these beautiful mason jars. I already gave one away in a Happy Mail because it came with three blanks and three printed, so I gave a blank away. And so these are the innards, and then there's also three of the flares that came in the hip kit. And then I got an absolute ton, and when I say ton, of 3 by 4 cards, I mean a ton. I'm not even going to show them to you all, because there's a bunch of videos on YouTube that will show you every single card. Specifically look for Arit Landgraf. She had... A box opening of all that stuff if you want to see up closer what else comes in all these hip kits they are double-sided and I seriously think I got like a pack and a half instead of a pack it's only supposed to come with 25 cards I think I have like 40 I don't know I haven't counted but there's a lot okay and then I've got a bunch of puffy stickers over here there are the snow and cocoa glitter snowflakes I like to cut these up because then I can move them across my layout to kind of where I want them. So I love to cut these apart in as little as I possibly can. There's some more enamel dots. So those are the Oh Joy Puffies. And then here are the Snow and Cocoa Puffies. Then I've got two packs. That's right, I said two packs of the Snow and Cocoa Ephemera. Here is, I don't even know what this came on. I think this came on a Happy Meal. And then I've got two packs of tags that I got really cheap at Tuesday morning. A bunch of different paper clips. The Michaels had 
a bunch of different sizes of these guys, even some really small ones. They were, I don't know, maybe three or four bucks. And I've got some like traveler's notebook ones. And then I've got a bunch of these. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. Maybe I'll decorate Christmas packages. I don't know if they'll make it into my December daily. They really are chunky. Okay, and then I've got some more of the little things from Lucy's cards. Coral Island. Falling Snow. Starshine. Diamond Ring. Gold Dust. Which I think I've used some already. Crystal. There we go. And Eternity Ring. Okay, ladies, that is it. Thank you so much. And I hope to have a lot of fun with you guys on that Allie Edwards December Daily page. So thank you so much. Bye, ladies.